Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic Bible study. Come on in. The Bible Bistro is open today. We're studying Psalm 18, verses 37 and 38. Actually, 37 through 40 all feel the same way. This is David's praise for how God had given him victory. So let's read 37 and 38. Uh, But before we do, let me just remind you about our other social media sites that Daily Dose Radio is found on. YouTube, SoundCloud, Tumblr, of course Facebook. I've already mentioned that this week. Twitter also is another place you can find us. But you find Daily Dose Radio in all those places. Go find it for yourself. Maybe you have a favorite one of those. SoundCloud is a big one. Also, YouTube is a big one. Lots of people like to listen to Daily Dose Radio over those devices. You can find us there and just check us out sometime on those other platforms. Let me read verses 37 and 38. I will pursue my enemies and I will overtake them. So I will not return until they are ended. I will smite them and they will not be able to rise up. They will fall under my feet. Now you hear this and you understand why I said this is very Davidic. It's David's language of praise for the enemies that are destroyed now. All those that have come under his feet. And remember this psalm, it was originally sung and it's recorded for us in 2 Samuel 22. And there it says, when God had brought to an end all of David's enemies... So this fits perfectly in the context of David's sitting on the throne now. All the enemies have been destroyed. He is united in his kingdom. There is peace under his rule. And the reason is is because this has happened. The enemies have been dealt with. I will pursue my enemies and I will overtake them. So I will not return until they are ended. I will smite them and they will not be able to rise up. They will fall under my feet. Let me ask you a question. What's your enemy? Now, I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about that thing, that sin, that habit that is your mortal enemy, that bosom sin that is so hard for you to walk away from. What is it? Well, this is for you. This is for me. This is for all of us who are in Christ Jesus. We are victors because the Lord Jesus has done a work in us and for us. And because of that, We can put on the armor, the breastplate, take up the shield of faith, put on the helmet of salvation, gird our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. See, all of that now can happen. We can take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Why do we take all that armor and weaponry upon ourselves? It is so that we can do battle. So, I will pursue my enemies, and I will overtake them. Why is that? Because we have an enemy. We have a bosom sin. We have a habit. We have the Satan himself who is always after the church. There are enemies, both physical and spiritual, that attack us. And so this passage is not just for David at the end of his his reign when the Lord had secured for him, you know, all the peoples under him. No, this is for us as well. Yes, we can say with David and sing this song of confidence I will pursue my enemies, and I will smite them, and they will fall under my feet because there is something more for me. There is a victory for me in this life. There is a victory for me in the next life, and I am victorious in this life because of Christ Jesus, but there is still an antagonist. There is still a struggle. The campaigns are still being struck. The tents are still being erected. The battle plans are still being made. And we are still fighting a fight right now, aren't we? Yes, we are. And so David's words here, I will pursue them. I will overtake them. These are confident words. How can he say that? Well, we'll find out tomorrow. So join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.